Welcome to Pagan Crafting. Today we have Travel Pocket Altar Part 5. We are making envelopes to store our bay leaves and our rose petals. Today's episode we are going to be making these cute teeny tiny little envelopes to fit our travel altar. We've also, we've also already had a tour, we've dressed our altar, we've sculpted, and now we're going to make some beautiful little origami little envelopes. Stay tuned and let's have some fun. So today's supplies, we're going to use our bay leaves, nice flat ones we can draw on, rose petals, cardstock paper. This cardstock paper you can get at the dollar store in a little booklets, or you can use the scrapbooking paper is really good as well. You may find these templates online a little for little envelopes. I just downloaded mine offline. I printed it out to the size that I wanted. I needed two very small envelopes to fit into my little travel pocket altar. Now these papers I just simply found in a booklet at the dollar store. They are fantastic. Little origami little papers. Great for making little envelopes. I use them to make for my seeds all the time. Now we have rose petals and bay leaves. You want to choose the flattest ones possible so they don't bunch up and cause more, take away more space in your tin. They're going to be simply folded. Oh, it's going to be so easy. I think these will fit perfectly in here. Now I can't decide which one to use for the bee leaf. Ooh, let's go for this one. Okay. Let's just pick one. Now I like to do the tracing on the back, put the template on the back, and with a pen or pencil, you can trace the outline of your template that you've cut out. There. And you're going to repeat on the other one. So I have one for my rose petals. Again, a little rinse and repeat. And simply cut them out and they will look so sharp. I find that cardstock paper does work the best versus just photocopying paper, but you can use simply printing paper as well. It'll just be a thinner, but it'll still work out quite nicely. Now, ever so gently fold down each side using your th the fingernails to sharpen the edges and there you have it yay and repeat for the next one I'm gonna use a little bit of glue on the flaps of the envelope just a little bit sparingly 
not very much at all is needed for these. The, the glue is quite strong. I'm using Mod Podge glue here. And there we go. Oh my gosh, they're so cute. I'm ready to be packed full of little wonderful goodnesses. A little bit of uh, rose petals for some love spells and some self-love spells. And some bay leaves. I can burn these bay leaves. I can write things on them. Oh my god, they're good, they're good for protection, for good luck. There's so many good things I could use for bay leaves. Just putting them to size so I can squeeze a little bit more in. And there you have it. Thank you so very much for joining me today. Stay tuned for part number six, and we'll be able to learn a little bit more about the all toy tins and all the kind of goodnesses that I put inside of it. Thanks again for chilling out with me today. Throw me down a little like up, subscribe, and ring that bell. And I look forward to seeing you in part six.